Now forget about ride quality and handling of a bike. The weight of it, that's really important, especially to a pro cyclist. Mine's weighing in at just over 6.8 kilos, so I'd be legal to race if I wanted to. But let's go and take a look and find out what the average weight of a pro bike is of each team. Okay, Bram, so how important is the weight of a bike to you? But what's more important is the aerodynamics. Yeah. yeah. So what I do is uh, I put this uh, aerodynamic uh, steering handlebar, yeah. put these gloves on. This is seven, seven watts, two watts, uh, aerodynamic helmet, helmet, seven watts. It all adds up, doesn't it? Yeah, that adds up. So that's, so that's, that's why aerodynamics is really important. Well, more important than the weight of the bike is the weight of myself, but <laughs> the weight of the bike is... He's not heavy. Look at him. Uh, the weight of the bike is uh, fairly important. Obviously, it depends on if it's an aero bike or not, because if it's completely un -aero, then you want it to be as light as it can be. If it's super aero, then it can be a little bit heavier and you still get the advantage of the, of the bike for sure. Now, here at Dubai, it's pretty flat. So are you going full on aero? Yeah, for sure. And uh, the climbing bike we have, even though it has disc brakes, is at 6.8 easy. Uh, Trek have done a really good job on uh, the Monda. And uh, yeah, the Madone is a little bit heavier, but here for sure it doesn't matter. And uh, the amount of energy you save uh, in the flats here is uh, a lot more than you would save on, gram on like 200 grams uh, in the hills here. So it's more than worth the sacrifice, basically, isn't it? To have a little bit extra weight, but you're going to go a lot faster when it comes down to it. Yeah, for sure, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Yes and no, you want it to be as light as possible. Um, but I'm already quite a heavy rider, so it's just like fighting a losing battle. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but say aerodynamics. Yeah. So that's probably where you're more into it, isn't it, really? You want an aero bike? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, what my, where I try and win races, where I try and really become useful to a team is, is when it's fast. So that's more down to aerodynamics than anything else. That's also really important, uh, but it depends on the stage, you know. If it's a flat stage, it's a little bit less important because uh, if you don't take the weight up, watts a kilo is really something that's important for the uphill and all that. But on the flat, uh, it's a little bit less important, but okay, it's also better that it's not too heavy, particularly. When it's a flat course, but with a lot of corners, when you have to speed up again, you know, that's, then you take always the weight with you. So in that case, it's also a bit important. But nowadays, the bikes are quite light. Maybe uh, some, sometimes the other ones are a little bit more heavier, but I think they also try to go uh, to 6.8 kilos. And uh, as lighter, the lighter, the better. But it has to be stiff as well. So there's the pros' thoughts on weight versus aerodynamics and what it means to them. But let's actually now look at the weight of a few bikes of the Pro Peloton. Uh, obviously this isn't easy to compare with one another as they all use different bikes and different components, but we can take an average frame size, an average wheel depth, and then obviously calculate the average weight through the squad who are riding these bikes at the Dubai Tour. Here's the results. And team dimension data, average rim depth, 55 millimeters, average frame size, 54.7 centimeters, an average weight, 7.16 kilos. So the bikes of Lotto and El Yumbo, the average rim depth that comes in at 60 millimeters, the whole squad, they're using the Shimano C60 wheels, frame size, average 56.3 centimeters, and now for the all important weight, 7.17 kilograms is the average weight of Lotto Yumbo's fleet of bikes. The average wheel depth for those riders is 50 millimeters. In fact, the whole squad are using 50 millimeter deep wheels. Average frame size, 57.1. They've got some tall riders on that squad. And as for the weight, well, the average weight for those bikes, 7.15 kilograms. For the bikes of BMC, the average rim depth is 45 millimeters. The average frame size, 54.4 centimeters. But what's that average weight? Well, 7.11 kilograms. We have a winner. There we have it. 
the average weight for the average sized bike and average rim depth bike here at the Dubai Tour, as well as the pros' thoughts on the sacrifice between aerodynamics and weight, or weight and aerodynamics. Let me know though your thoughts on that in the comments down below. And for another great tech video here from the Dubai Tour, click down here.